cycle. I mean, this weekend has been more than we ever expected, and Jennifer James and the planning committee has done an outstanding job in putting this together. Couldn't ask more. The comments that we're receiving is that this is better than they ever thought it could ever be, and they're hoping now. Our alums are asking for it to happen every year, and there's no way we can do that because it's such a huge undertaking, but this is, has just been a, a magical weekend. Played basketball here from 88 to 92, um, and we had a lot of success as well as many of our other sports here at Penn State. You know, we're here celebrating the 50th anniversary, and it's phenomenal. As you can see, there's so many people here that have just come back to celebrate the successes of what women's sports has done here at Penn State. It's been phenomenal, and to be a part of that has been great. I hadn't been back for something this large ever, and it's just amazing. I'm so appreciative of all the things that they've done for us this weekend. It's really been an amazing experience to see the other female athletes, younger, older, all participating. I was pre-Title IX, so things were pretty slim back then, and I'm happy to see that they've got many more opportunities than even I was offered here. It's wonderful. I really, uh, I think that women's sports has come a long way in the past 50 years and that it's just really exciting to be a part of the history and hopefully it'll continue to build. I think uh, we certainly deserve the opportunity to participate. It's amazing to be at Penn State, you know, uh, it was the greatest time of my life and, uh, you know, the support here and just, I don't know, the family that, that is Penn State just means so much to all of us that played here. And so coming back and see all the women in sports that have paved the way and, and done so much for all the women that play now, my current team, I coach the team now, and so my, for my current student athletes to see this is, is just unbelievable. Members of the cross country and track teams from the late 80s and the early 90s. Woo! We have many great memories to share, some that we can't with the public. <laughs> the best thing about this is that we're here 25 years later with great friends who maybe we haven't seen in years, but we can catch up like it was yesterday. And we have to thank Women's Athletics and Penn State for that. And Rec Hall, we were laughing because Rec Hall, where we spent most of, I spent most of my time while I was here, they have renovated and I was just blown away. I couldn't believe just what fresh paint and new lights could do. Um, our like the media room, the locker rooms, I mean it's so top of the line. Um, just being back here at Penn State brings back so many great memories. Um, first and foremost competing in track and it was here through training with Terry Jordan that I actually made it to the elite level and got to um, the Paralympic level and got to compete in Beijing. So, and it opened up uh, doors of opportunity for me. I coached and refereed in the area where I live, Rochester, New York. And uh, this this university gave me a career. You know, I just first of all, I want to thank Penn State for everything they did for me, all the opportunities afforded to me, and what kind of woman that made me leaving here and growing into the world. I, I think that anyone that knows, anyone that played here knows how special it is and that it means, women's sports means the world to Penn State University. And so I just want to give that message out there that I want to thank all the administrators, all the coaches, and everybody that, all the staff involved with all the women's programs for everything they've done over the years.